Hi there all, today, today's test is um, trying some binder I'm using wallpaper paste and some cement additive Boncrete as the um, binder. I've made a tracing paper version of the ink, that's using just the plain feather carbon I had, but not the latest batch, uh, a couple of batches before, so it's, I can sort of just waste that one. And I'm trying some paper towel as well. And the test at the moment is just a graphite pad and some tracing paper, which was soaked in zinc sulfate for three hours. And our run time so far, it has, I'm gonna charge them up for two minutes and 17 seconds at 4.4 volts or something it was. So, so far we've been running for three minutes without any bind, without any um, carbon or binder, just plain tracing paper as a separator and the two carbon graphite pads. <clears throat> that will be our base test. I've got the other versions of the seal soaking in there, coated. They're fine, finally um, ground. That was ball milled that feather carbon for about a week. So we'll probably be looking at five minute run time. Interesting, just for zinc sulfate and those carbon collectors. The mix I used was 70% of that and 30% of that stuff. And it made a um, nice looking ink. Still wet, that's been around for about, I don't know, a week I think. Alright, we'll get back in a minute when that runs out. That will be our base test. Okay, the base test is finished. 5 minutes and 54, we got 2 milliamp hours and 2 milliwatt hours. So we'll see if the um, painted ink on the cells swapped over instead of that separator does anything different. So I'll um, give it a 2 minute 17 second charge and we'll see what happens using the tracing paper first. This is the tracing paper with the feather carbon painted on both sides after 2 minutes and 17 minute charge at 4.4 volts. Okay, we're holding higher voltage. Alright, I'll let that run, see what we get. Um, these ones have been soaking overnight in this little tub of um, zinc sulfate. 2 mole solution. That's the state of the other separator we just ran, plain tracing paper. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, um, forgot to say, the resistance on the um, ink is really high, it's like 35k ohms. Might have, um, I think I put too much of the boncrete in there. Might just try a wallpaper paste as well. But that might not be as waterproof, perhaps. Yeah, right, I'll be back. Okay, so using the separator, tracing paper with the carbon coated on both sides, we got seven minutes, 16 seconds, three milliwatt hours and two milliamp hours. So milliamp hours didn't change much. <clears throat> Runtime was slightly longer, mm, but it's high resistance on that surface of that ink, I've got to play around with it more. So we'll try the paper towel version and see if we get any more or less. And I'll be back when that one's charged. Okay, this is the paper towel version of the cell. Again, it's been coated both sides with uh, feather carbon twice, as all the other cells were. All right, I'll get back. Okay, paper towel test just finished. It looks like that's the winner. Three milliamp hours and three milliwatt hours. Eight minutes, 24 seconds runtime. Hmm, there you go. I would have thought it wouldn't have, but it may hold more or it holds more electrolyte because it's a thicker material than the tracing paper, perhaps. 
I was soaked in the same solution at the same time for the same duration. So I'd imagine it's got a high electrolyte content. They both were coated twice, so hmm, depending on the material, it was both all dry. So one's a bit slippery, the surface, and the paper towel's a bit more bindy with the, with the coating, I guess. All right, so I'll um, jam three of those. I'll um, keep that one in there. I'll put one of them on the bottom, one on the top, and see if we actually change the cell's characteristics by layering it. I'll set that up. Okay, started the run cycle. Doing the layering thing, the voltage was actually um, 2.5. And so it's got tracing paper coated in carbon, then the paper towel, and then tracing paper carbon coated again. And one thing I noticed also on the charge, the voltage went to 2.4, and I mean 2.5 instead of 2.4. I haven't checked touch the charge controller, it was the same setting. So we'll see if we actually get a longer run time or more milliamps. All right, I'll be back. Okay, the layered cell just finished. We're slightly up with four milli what hours, three milliamp hours, nine minutes. So we gained an extra minute by layering that carbon on top of each other so for the same charge. What I might try now is a um, five minute charge on the layered cell. And Put it to rest. I'm gonna start changing the um, binder amounts and see what happens. I gotta try to get it down before my zinc's ready. I got about a week or two weeks before the zinc hexacyanoferrate new batch is ready. It's been a while. It takes ages. I just let it evaporate, wash it, let it settle, wash it again, and do the same, and then let it evaporate dry once I've got it clean. All right, I'll. Just do a five minute charge on the cell and see if we increase run time. Okay, back with the layered cell with a five minute charge. 2.6 volts start off, which is weird. It's probably just got more electrolyte floating around the cell. All right, we'll see if we get more than nine minutes out of the five minute charge. Okay, having a three layer pile of um, painted paper and one piece of paper towel, we've got 15 minutes. We almost doubled our time. We've got 5 milliamp hours and 6 milliwatt hours on a 5 minute charge. So I'll um, give it another charge just to see what happens. Probably, um, I might go 8 or 10 minutes and see what happens. See if we actually get a longer run time than that. So I'll um, set that up and I'll be back. So interesting, we made like a mini voltaic pile maybe using the different layers of carbon. Okay, just to show the resistance on the tracing paper, it's set to the 20k and we're at 16.2k resistance over that distance. I'll increase that. As you can see, we so over that distance, we're 16 to 17 K. So it's quite high on resistance. It can come down by adjusting the formula. That's what I'll start doing soon. And for the paper towel, probably about the same. Oh, actually, paper towel is much better for some reason. Thicker carbon, perhaps. Maybe that's the reason it runs better. Didn't realize that. So we're at 6k resistance on the on the paper towel version. Or actually, I'll take that off of that one. Maybe that's interfering. Oh no, same. And um, in this little crucible thing I made ages ago, I decided to put the um, last batch of feather carbon soaked in soaked in zinc chloride, and then I microwaved it for eight minutes. 
So, our resistance on a piece of this. Oh, if I don't break over that distance. 0.9 ohms. And the meter actually 0.4, 0.3, 0.5. So um, zinc chloride actually um, activated that quite well. So we're about three ohms really, which isn't too bad, or 0.3 I should say. If I can get a decent piece, it breaks up. That was only in the microwave for eight minutes. So um, I'm not going to use that yet. I'm going to put that in the um, zinc hexacyanoferrate cell. This was my calcium aluminate cement. It works actually well in the uh, microwave. It's got a little recess there to seal it up. I broke my Pyrex dish trying it first. So now I pulled out this. And that, that seems to work really well. And I had this in the furnace at like um, 900 degrees and it was only 100 on the outside. It's because um, it has um, perlite in there as an insulator. But when this one was in the microwave for 8 minutes, it was 200 on the outside. So that's from the heat from the carbon. Which was quite strange because it actually heated up where it doesn't normally heat up as much. Alright. We got four minutes left on charge. Okay, ten minutes on charge is probably overkill. Six minutes was probably max and then it started raising and breaking down I guess and the voltage also dropped so cells performance probably won't be so good so I'll disconnect and set it up for a load but I don't think it's going to perform as good as it did last time. The voltage popped back up so maybe it's not damaged too bad. Starting the test. Uh, come on. Uh, we're slightly lower on our voltage we were originally. But we're holding quite well. 2.3. Well, what I might do is I might snip that piece off, soak, start soaking it in electrolyte and later on today when I get some time or tonight. I'll um, stack this one in the layer as well. Uh, I'll be back when this finishes. We got 10 minutes last time. No, 14 minutes or something. On 5 minute charge. So this is double the charge. I don't think we're going to double our run time. Okay, back with the 10 minute charge. It actually almost doubled the cell's performance. 9 milliamp hours and 10 milliwatt hours. So I'll... um. Repeat the experiment later with the extra piece of paper towel. It's got to be in there for about three hours. So I'll put the rest of them in there and um, maybe today or tomorrow I'll get back. So layering actually seems to work. And the carbon coating is actually high in resistance. So having that lower probably would increase the cell's performance even more. So I just have to play around with the binder mix and see what we can get. Alright, until next time. Okay, we're coming up to a 10 minute charge. I have four layers of the carbon in there. I have two pieces of paper towel, so it's paper towel, then tracing paper one, paper towel and the tracing paper. And the voltage is stable until about four minutes and then it drops. Then we're sort of going up and down. I think it might be shorting out through it. So we're at 10 minutes, so I'll disconnect and I'll um, start the discharge and I'll get back. We're ready for a discharge, we're at 2.5, 20 milliamp load again. 
<clears throat> Alright, we'll see if we can get our 22 minutes. Or maybe longer because we've got that extra piece of carbon paper towel in there. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I don't think we're going to get our 20 minutes. We're 17 minutes. I'll um, soak them in electrolyte overnight and redo the experiment. Maybe pushing it with too much resistance with four sheets of the um, paper coated in carbon perhaps. So we only got six milliamp hours and six milliwatt hours. So we're down by four with that extra piece. It could be still dry. It's quite um, <coughs> too much binder I'd imagine being low on resistance. It's quite flexible. It doesn't crack. But it's too high in resistance for now. I'll work on the formula of that and uh, I'll soak them and I'll get back tomorrow sometime. It's been about 24 hours, it's the next day. I had them soaking in electrolyte, little pieces of carbon paper. Um, I've just connected it, we're at 1.1 volts, no charge. And um, I'll set a charge for 10 minutes. Connecting the lead. Okay, we're at 450 milliamps and dropping, so I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, back with a 10 minute, 30 second charge, we're at 2.7 volts, so I think they're stacking because it's a higher voltage. And we'll do a 20 milliamp discharge. And we're at 2.6, so the cells are acting like a um, pile of cells stacked on top of each other to increase their current, I mean voltage, by the looks of it. Because normally it'd only be two and drop straight away. So that last cell I tried last night must have been dry, it needs like 24 hours to get through all the, um, the thick coating of the um, bonding agent. Cool. Probably don't get as high as voltage if you made separate cells and then connected them, but eh. And plus the resistance on this is pretty high. I'm going to try to work on the, um, the amount I put in to reduce it. Might even put some graphite powder in there as well. That's later on. Alright, I'll see. I'll be back. Okay, finished its test. It's still not the 10 milliamp hours it was on the three plate version. But we're at 1.2 volts after a discharge, 20 minutes on the run time, and 8 milliwatt hours. So I'll give it another charge. I'll go for 15 minutes. It'll be the last one for the cell anyway. And then I can concentrate on changing the um, formula of the, the paint or ink. <clears throat> Probably acting like a bipolar plate, each one of these with a stack on top of each other. It's acting as the collector and the electrode joining mechanism. So I'll um, charge it up 15 minutes and get back. Okay, back 17 minutes on charge. I'll just disconnect the charge, connect the other end. We're at 2.8 volts. We should have a voltage now, 2.7, okay, stop monitoring, and start our test. Okay, slightly over the 15 minutes, but we're holding our 2.5 again for a bit. So the cells are definitely stacking and bipolar plates, or it wouldn't be 2.5. So we got that going for us. So all I have to do really is work on the um, ink and get that resistance down. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, back 23 minutes. It's still holding 0.9 volts. We're at 12 milliwatt hours, 8 milliamp hours. So it's looking good after that 17 minute charge and the second charge of the cell. Alright, I'll get back when it's done. Okay, back with the results. 36 minutes, 52 seconds, uh, 
12 milliamp hours <coughs> and 15 milliwatt hours on a 17 minute charge. Not too bad for just lowering the cells up. And the stuff had high resistance, so not that great on the resistance. So I'll be working on improving the resistance if I can, hopefully. And I'll get back with another lot of videos once I get that resistance down. Um, so thanks for watching.